Oily mascaroni constant. Mascaroni constant. Right. Not mascaroni, not uh, macaroni, mascaroni. This time I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> I've seen your comments, my boys and girls. I'm trying to work on my pronunciation. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. We just recently derived all the stuff regarding gamma function, di gamma function, poly gamma function, blah blah blah. It has been absolutely amazing in my opinion. And today I would like to add something new to my Laplace transform playlist, actually the Laplace transform of the natural log of t. And you're going to see the connection immediately once we write out the definition of the Laplace transform in this case. Okay, so this is nothing but the integral from 0 to infinity. Ah, oh, beautiful integral, integral sign from 0 to infinity of e to the negative st, natural log of t integrated with respect to t. And you see, if you would have, uh, if you would have s being equal to 1, then this would certainly evaluate to our oily macaroni constant, but with a negative sign, if I'm not mistaken. We are going to introduce a little substitution. Let this exponent right here be equal to tau, for example. Meaning if s is not equal to zero, or the real part is not equal to zero, yeah, no, if s is not equal to zero, then we can divide both sides by s, t being equal to tau over s. Meaning, if we differentiate both sides with respect to t, we are going to get that dt is nothing but d tau over s. And we can plug this new stuff into here. Integral running from, okay, zero to infinity, nothing's really going to change. Of e to the negative tau. Natural log of tau over s, d tau over s. We can bring the one over s to the outside and you see natural log of a over b is going to vary to natural log of a minus natural log of b. So there's nothing but natural log of tau minus the natural log of s. Meaning we can use the linearity of the integral to break all this stuff up. If our integral actually converges, bring the 1 over s factor to the outside and this is going to leave us with 1 over s times big brackets integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative tau natural log of tau integrate with respect to tau minus e to the negative t, integral from 0 to infinity, e to the negative tau in this case, I'm terribly sorry, natural log of s, integrated with respect to tau. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's a beautiful bracket right here, absolutely beautiful individual. You see, natural log of s is independent of tau, so we can bring it to the outside. Integrating this right here is actually quite easy. Bring a negative sign to the front. This and that is going to cancel out and everything's Gucci. This thing right here, we have evaluated it before. This is nothing but our, well, integral representation of negative gamma, Euler's constant, oily mascaroni constant, mascaroni constant. Right, not mascaroni, not uh, macaroni, mascaroni. This time I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> I've seen your comments, my boys and girls. I'm trying to work on my pronunciation. Also, like I said, this thing right here is going to evaluate. So if we get rid of this negative sign by integration, this is nothing but natural log of s times e to the negative tau from zero to infinity. If we plug infinity into here, so let tau approach infinity in the limit, it's going to be one of infinity, that's, that's just going to vanish in the limit. Then we are going to get a negative sign by the second part of integration. Okay, this is negative, e to the zero of power is nothing but one, so negative natural log of s. Leaving us overall with the Laplace transform being equal to negative, I'm going to factor the negative sign out on both terms, negative gamma plus the natural log of s over s. We don't want s to be equal to zero, otherwise stuff wouldn't work out. You see, this would absolutely diverge, probably. Um, yeah, it would definitely diverge. So that's something we don't want. That's probably the only restriction on s that we have right here. Correct me in the comments if this is not the case, if there are any further restrictions on our complex number s right here, our algebraic um, parameter. Parameter. 
I hope you did enjoy this video. It was just a little quickie. If you did, please like, subscribe, and recommend this channel if you like. If you want to support, support this channel a bit more, take a look into the description there. You can find a link to my tea string shop, to my website, to Quora, for example, or whatsoever, to the second channel. And up until the next video, have a flum up the day. See ya!